and Sean. Um, been locked down here in the UK for the last six months. Thought I'd cook some salmon for lunch today, a bit of a curry. Thought I'd cook it for you so you can cook it later. A uh, bit of a background on me, grew up in the UK for the last 20 years, in October this year. Lived, cooked, I'm a chef. Lived, cooked, worked, eating my way around India with my lovely wife who's behind the camera. Um, and like I say, it's been quite a troublesome six months, but hopefully we're gonna get back soon. So I'm gonna cook a salmon curry. If you wanna have a look down. Got some salmon, salmon asparagus. I'm gonna serve it with some rice. And I'm gonna serve a little bit of salad on the side. So I've got a hot pan. I'm gonna start by sealing off my salmon. Everything's gonna happen quite quickly in the end, so it's not so difficult to do. Anybody can do it at home. I've used things that are available in every supermarket in the UK. In fact, most of my shopping has been done in Aldi since I've been here, which is not such a bad thing, I don't think. So, hot pan, and you can use anything for this. You could use butter, you could use regular oil. Just because I've got it, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. So I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna suffocate my salmon. I still wanna have that nice crispy skin on my salmon. I'm gonna cook it through in the, in the curry itself. So it's gonna happen quite quickly. Hot pan, some salt flakes. So what the salt flakes are gonna do, they're gonna dry up some moisture from the skin. And we'll end up with a nice crispy, crispy skin. I hope you're ready for it. Um, so hot pan, skin side down. That's part of my lockdown here in the UK. So I suppose I may as well tell you that story. So came here in March, my father was sick, unfortunately, uh, and he sadly passed away. So we got lucky, we have a house here. Um, and I've somehow gotten used to using this electric hob. Unimaginable for me, six months ago, but to be using an electric hob. Very difficult to, I mean, much easier to cook with gas, but I think in many ways, it's made me realize how clean a gas, an electric hob is. You can just give it a wipe down. It's very, very clean. You don't end up with gas stains all over your walls, gas marks where all the gas fumes have eaten into the walls of the house. And it's just a much cleaner kitchen. Not promoting electric, electric hobs. I'll be happy to get back to a gas hob, but still, not such a bad thing. So salmon, and while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna cut up a bit of ginger, and a little bit of garlic. Not much, really. I'm just gonna make enough for two people here. I do like a bit of ginger, though, it has to be said. So I've got some ginger. I mean, if you really didn't want to, you, you don't necessarily have to peel this ginger, but we can do just for the sake of it, I suppose. Spoons are always good for peeling ginger. It's easier to get around all those nobbles in the ginger, much easier than using a knife or a peeler. There you go. Bit of peeled ginger. I'm just going to julienne this, so I'll cut off the top. Just going to shred it thinly, and then shred it into julienne. I mean, you could add as much or as little as you want. I'm not so anal about quantities, um, so we'll just shred that. Dead simple. Nice little cutting motion. Shredding that ginger, lovely. And the curry itself is pretty much going to come together in the last couple of minutes, really. I said we'd do a 15 minute curry. And if there are any chefs out there, so, so why I said I'd do this? So we have a charity in India called the Jungle Crows. We work in lots of slums around India as I'm sure Mr. Walsh will explain to everybody as part of this video clip. And we thought we'd do something a little bit charitable. So if anybody wants to donate, then I guess there's gonna be something written at the bottom. 
But if any other chefs out there want to do a 15 minute curry for a little bit of charity to help some kids in some slums in, in Calcutta primarily, in India, then please let me know. Sounds cooking. We can see it turning opaque around the sides, which is a good thing. Got a little bit of chopped ginger, a little bit of smashed garlic. You can do it as thick or as thinly chopped, thinly chopped as you want to. Um, I was going to use green chilies actually for this. Um, it almost reminds me of Bengal, but I, where I live. Uh, but didn't have any green chilies. Got a red chili. I'm just going to, and this is primarily for colour in some ways. Has no heat. Obviously a green chilli with a bit of heat would have been really nice, but unfortunately didn't have any today. I didn't have any today. So, let's get into rings. It's going to be full of flavour. Everybody likes that capsicum kind of flavour, if you like. Um, I think beyond this, I'm going to do a few more curries, I think. A few more 15 minute curries. So it's going to be something that's not necessarily Indian centric, but just something for everybody. I know everybody likes a bit of flavor here and there, um, all those Indian flavors. I'm not gonna to use too much today though. I'm gonna keep it quite simple, but when I do something else later on, it will be a little bit more spicy. So, fish is in. I'm just gonna have a look at the base. So I want it to be, so it's cooking already, but I want it to be a little bit more brown than that. And then once I flip it over, we're going to start making the curry. So it's that simple. In this pan here, I have some rice I steamed this morning, or just like 15 minutes ago. And I'm going to add a little bit of lemon zest to that, a bit of lemon. So I'm going to make lemony pepper rice which will go really nice with this curry. So we'll come back to that later. Back in again with the salmon. The skin has started to crisp up. I still want it to be a bit crisper than that. I want it to have some color. So we're gonna, again, once this is almost finished cooking on that side, and I'm gonna do almost all the cooking on the skin side. I think it's a nice way to, to cook fish. Uh, and then we can start adding the rest of our ingredients. So we have some coconut milk. We've got some whole grain mustard here. Um, a few cumin seeds, a bit of turmeric. Some mango chutney for my salad later. Um, and that's pretty much all that's going to be in the curry. So I think just for time, because I've said 15 minutes and we are getting there. We're going to flip this over now. I'm going to go in there, just roast that little bit of garlic through a touch, not too much, it doesn't have to be, but I want it to give off a little bit of flavour. I'm not going to flip this fish from now on, it's just going to be as it is, we've got a few cumin seeds, again not massive amounts. Turmeric is up to you, uh, I, I think it's nice for a little bit of colour. And then once we're there, I think we'll go in with the coconut milk. Just enough for a couple of people, really. And at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna put my ginger in there. My red pepper, red capsicum, whatever you want to call it. A little bit, or well, let's say about a, a good a good teaspoonful of whole grain mustard. You can use whatever mustard you want, really. It doesn't matter to me too much. So most of the flavour is going to be from the mustard there. And then I have these um, asparagus stalks. And when I bought them this morning, they're not the best asparagus stalks, I don't think. 
They're a little bit woody. Just give that a bit of a shake around. So they're a little bit woody actually. So we can either we can either peel them to expose that part where it's a little bit woody at the bottom if you wanted to or I think for me at least I'm just going to snap it off so as far as you can snap it off and it snaps easily then that's where the woody part starts so we can break them into about two pieces I think so where it snaps easily is the perfect part of the asparagus to eat. We could always put this in a, in a soup later. Everybody loves asparagus, I know. So again, really, beyond that, it starts to get a little bit woody, really. So we don't need that. I think that's plenty for two of us, maybe a bit more. Have a quick look at the time. So I've got about seven minutes left. Let me have a look, get rid of that, that can go, give this a little wipe down, I'm sure a lot of people would say this isn't a curry and I also know that a lot of my friends in India would say there's no such bloody word as curry, but has to be probably the most travelled word in the world as far as food's concerned, I would imagine. Particularly in colonial countries. Let's give that a taste. It's definitely going to need some salt. And I don't see why not a pinch of sugar. So we're really just going to cook this now until the uh, asparagus cooks through. No real need to cook it much further than that. I'm a bit afraid that the, the salmon's gonna overcook, which I don't want. But it's looking nice, lovely colors in there. Uh, I'm gonna make a little salad, which is just gonna be a salad of Nice red onion. So I think we'll do it in rounds because it always looks nice in a salad. We'll just peel off that outer skin of the onion. Which is enough. I'm just going to slice it, I can't suddenly come that side, but I'm just going to slice it really thinly. As thin as you can get it really. So like I said, if any other chefs want to fancy having a go at doing a curry in 15 minutes, then please do let us know, let me know. We'll throw this into a bowl with a little bit of mango chutney. Now this is nice, relatively thick mango chutney. We've got a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. So the mango chutney itself is going to be, how do I explain, a little bit, a um, little bit sharp. But I think we can add a tiny bit of vinegar. And to make it even more solidy, as far as I'm concerned, a little bit of olive oil. Doesn't have to be much. Just give that a little stir. I mean, if we wanted to, I mean, there is a few bits of mustard in here. Don't have to do it, but I suppose it's going to reflect that mustard a little bit in the salmon. So mustard in. 
and in them just to break it up so you still have those nice rounds. Give it a bit of a toss round in there. So that's our little salad. Just keep looking at that while I wash my hand. Salmon asparagus cooking. That's the highest temperature of my pan, so I can't start reducing it now, unfortunately. Take into that. You can put a little bit of coriander into the salad. A bit of green always looks nice. I'm going to pretend that I took that out of the refrigerator already, gave it a wash. But I'm sure Aldi would have washed it for me, all being well. Um, so a lovely little salad. I mean, there's no rules to salads. You can do whatever you want, really. But I do love onions in a salad. It's almost like an Indian favourite thing to do as well. So timing wise, ooh, I think I've got about a minute left. So I've got my rice, I'm going to add some black pepper to it. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon zest to it. So I could do, you could just scrape this on the back of a grater, but um, a little bit of lemon zest. Try not to take too much of that white, if you can help it. If you do get too much, then just, just get rid of it. It's a little bit bitter. So we can shred that. So lemon pepper rice. I said grated would probably be easier for most people, I would imagine. I've not added any salt to that yet. Unfortunately, I've not got any butter at hand. But if you had some butter, it would have been nice to add some butter to that. Put a bit more pepper in there. Should have this nice lemony, peppery rice. Again, I think just for a little extra seasoning, just a pinch of sugar. Doesn't have to be much. Fish will be cooked now for sure. Now the skin is still nice and crisp. Asparagus hopefully should be cooked by now. Rice is looking good. So 15 minute curries. Got a bowl here for my rice. Lemony, peppery. If you wanted to add the, the juice, you could do it. I didn't want it to become too wet. And I'm going to finish this with a little bit of juice anyway. So, a little bit of lemon juice. Just to finish it. And I'll just check my seasoning. The gravy's looking nice by now. Seasoning's good. That's done. So we have a nice piece of salmon. Our asparagus. If your curry becomes too thick or too thin, you could always add more water or just reduce it down a little bit more if you wanted to. I didn't want this so wet. If you want to move just around a bit so you can have some light. This is going to be all that today. 
see. There's one portion. And then just for to finish it. A little bit of salad. It's nice, fresh, it's gonna taste fabulous. So my so my um, mustard coconut salmon curry with asparagus. Gonna taste fabulous, as I know. Salmon is just perfectly cooked. It's gonna be hot. It's not so spicy. So for beginners, probably a good idea. Taste good. Taste all those flavors. And once again, if anybody fancies cooking a 15 minute curry, any chefs out there, for a cause. Maybe next time I'm going to start naming some people. Um, please let me know.